know. Do you think the handbag matches my shoes? What was that? Um, somebody's killed a son? Oh, what's happening? I don't know. I... Jesus guy hanging up there. They've killed him. Well, what are they looking at? They've killed the guy who can heal people, who can perform miracles, who was sent by God. They haven't thought this through, have they? God's death is important and happened for a reason. The Bible says even when we were God's enemies, he made peace with us because his son died for us. You are so important that God would die for you. It's Good Friday. And today, as a church, we were planning on joining with other Christians all over Basingstoke to go on a walk of witness together and then to have a short service in the town centre. But of course, with all that's going on right now, that just isn't going to happen. So instead, we've put together a short service that we hope will help you reflect on all that we remember Jesus for today, for God's love for us and Jesus' obedience to his Father through his death on the cross and through this service we will be remembering Jesus as we take communion together so if you would like to participate in this then please make sure you've got some bread and some wine or something similar ready to take at the right time so let's start this service by asking for God's presence to be with us and the truth of all that he has done for us to fill our hearts let's pray Father God, as we gather today, we remember the supreme sacrifice of our beautiful King, the Lord Jesus Christ. Led like a lamb to the slaughter, clothed in humility and grace, he willingly offered himself to death so that we might live forever. We are truly thankful for the extent of his love stretched out on a cruel wooden cross. We dwell on the pain he bore for us and are truly grateful for the forgiveness that he offers. And as we worship and praise him now, help us to live in the wonder of his goodness and marvel at his endless grace. Amen. Okay, uh, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us today for our Good Friday reflection service. It might seem a bit weird that I've got the lights on, I've got all the equipment here, but that's okay, just forget about that. We're here to reflect on what Jesus did for us uh, at Easter time. And today's Good Friday, we're going to remember um, what Jesus has done for us. I bow my knee where your blood was shed for me 
There's no greater love than this You have overcome the grave Your glory fills the highest place What can separate me now? You go before me You shield my way And your hand upholds me I know you love me I know you At the cross I bow my knee Where your blood was shed for me There's no greater love than this You have overcome the grave Your glory fills the highest place What can separate me now? At the cross At the cross I bow my knee where your blood was shed for me What no greater love than this You have overcome the grave Your glory fills the highest praise And what can separate me now And you tore the veil You made a way When you said that it is done You must all the veil You made a way When you said That it is done And when the earth fades falls from my eyes and you stand before me I know you love me I know you love me
did as such love and sorrow meet all thorns compose so rich a nailed Jesus to a cross. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they nailed Jesus to the cross. There was a sign with the charge against Jesus written on it. The sign read, the King of the Jews. They also put two criminals on crosses beside Jesus, one on the right and the other on the left. People walked by and insulted Jesus. They shook their heads saying, you said you could destroy the temple and build it again in three days. So save yourself. Come down from that cross. The leading priests and the teachers of the law were also there. They made fun of Jesus just as the other people did. They said among themselves, he saved other people, but he can't save himself. If he really is the Christ, the King of Israel, then let him come down from the cross now. We will see this and then we will believe. At noon, the whole country became dark. This darkness lasted for three hours. At three o'clock, Jesus 
cried in a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And with a final cry, he breathed his last. When Jesus died, the curtain in the temple split into two pieces. The tear started at the top and tore all the way down to the bottom. The army officer that was standing there before the cross saw what happened when Jesus died. The officer said, surely this man really was the son of God. How deep the Father's love for us How vast beyond all measure That He should give His only Son To make a wretch His treasure how great the pain of searing loss The Father turns His face away As wounds which mar the chosen one Bring many sons to glory There's a saying that goes, you can't see the wood for the trees. Now this saying or expression talks about when we get so bogged down in the details that we forget the bigger picture or maybe even miss the whole point. We try and understand it with our own human understanding and mindset. We can come up with some really lengthy, deep theological explanation that involves a whole load of really long words. We might even come up with some equation that helps us understand. We get so bogged down in the detail that we completely miss the point. So what is the point? John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So why did God choose to give his Son Jesus to die on the cross for us? It was because the relationship between God and us, his children, 
was broken through sin. Not sure what this means? Well, sin is all the things that we do, we say, we even think that aren't part of God's plan for us. It's the times that we mess up, the things that we do wrong. And this sin separates us from God because God is holy and he cannot be near sin. So the relationship that we were created to have with him is now broken. And as we read, God chose to do something about it. And that something was massive, too big for us to fully understand. It was painful and sacrificial. It involved his son, his holy, perfect and blameless son being hung on a cross to die in our place. And on this cross, he took our sin, past, present and future. God's love for us sent Jesus to the cross and Jesus' obedience to the Father kept him there. He experienced pain, sorrow, mockery, agony and even abandonment. And all this was for us, for you and for me. Somehow Jesus' death on a cross made us clean so that we could be in a relationship with God again. God loved, Jesus obeyed. Our part, believe. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Believe. It really is that simple. Today on Good Friday, forget everything that complicates and causes us to miss the point. So believe, believe that God loves you. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for you. Believe that somehow through his death on the cross, your sins can be forgiven. And believe that because of everything that happened on Good Friday, we can be in a relationship with God again and we can experience life to the full with him, not just for the short time here on earth, but for eternity, forever with him. Okay, let's sing together. This I believe. Our Father everlasting, the all creating one, God Almighty. Spirit conceiving Christ the Son, Jesus our Savior. I believe in God the Father, I believe in Christ the Son, I believe in the Holy Spirit, our God is three in one. I believe in the resurrection that we will rise again. For I believe in the name of Jesus Our judge and our defender Suffered and crucified Forgiveness is in you Ascended into darkness, you rose in glorious life, forever seated high. I believe in God the Father, I believe in Christ the Son, I believe in the Holy Spirit, our God is three in one. I believe in the resurrection. 
that we will rise again for i believe in the name of jesus i believe in god the father i believe in christ the son i believe in the holy spirit our god is three in one i believe in the resurrection that we will rise again for i believe in the name of jesus i believe in you and i believe Jesus Christ is Lord. Sing, I believe. And I believe in you. And I believe you rose again. And I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. eternal i believe in the virgin birth i believe in the saints communion and in your holy church i believe in the resurrection when jesus comes again for i believe in the name of jesus i believe in life eternal i believe in the virgin birth I believe in the saints' communion and in your holy church. I believe in the resurrection when Jesus comes again. For I believe in the name of Jesus. For I believe in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you that we can believe in your name. We put our hope in you. We put our trust in you, Lord. And as we reflect today, Good Friday, on what you've done for us on the cross, those 2,000 plus years ago, Lord, we just pray that you would use us, that you would help us to, to go away from today not discouraged and not um, downhearted because of the Friday, but to remember that that on, in a few days' time we'll be celebrating your resurrection. As we sang there, I believe in the resurrection when Jesus comes again. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. It's been great to have you with us today on our Good Friday service. Now go and enjoy your hot cross bun with your family or at home um, and uh, spend some time today reflecting and thanking Jesus for what he did on the cross. And join us on Sunday as we celebrate him rising again. Uh, that's 10 o'clock on our Facebook channel and our YouTube channel, LifePoint Church, Rooksdown. Thank you. Have a great day.